two, one, go. All right, so we're all cured up. So let's see what we got here. Honestly, don't even know. So here is Bao. It's looking good. This is always so exciting. So let's see if some of this stuff fits. I don't think I have to wash my hands after this. I see some wet spots, which is probably resin sort of seeping out from certain places. Well, you know what? I gotta get the supports out. There's a lot of things stuck in there. I see another little piece. Let me try to get that out. I can never find my tweezers. All right. There's a little something in there. I need to get out. I need smaller tweezers, I think. Oh, that might be an issue, unfortunately. Oh, I think I got it. Look at that. It's nicely. So that'll be nice. So obviously it'll be glued on. So let's see. There's gotta be some other little pieces here. They're just all oh, these must be the eye dots. Maybe that's what these are. They're so tiny. Okay, so I think this is this one. <laughs> it's incredible how well these things print tiny, tiny little pieces. Tiny little pieces that actually fit pretty well. Like, I think that's pretty incredible. I really like how this resin has this like nice shine to it. It looks pretty cool. All right, so then we have these eye pieces. These little tiny eye pieces. Seems like there's, oh no, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, this side fits in better. I wonder why this side fits in kind of funny. Hmm. must have got it warped a little bit but still looks pretty good so the other piece the teeth I think that's for I think that's the snail teeth so I think this is Bao's teeth they're super tiny I think it's supposed to go in like this is gonna be really difficult I'm gonna have to paint it white Then I think I'm going to have to glue it in like this. That's going to be tough. Oh, 
have to glue it in like this. Yeah, that's gonna, I knew that was gonna be tough. That's the only part I was worried about. So we'll see, we'll see if this works. If not, it's not the end of the world. You can see the little piece in there, but this is just like way too small. And it's just hard because I can't, I can't get my, um, my, my fingers in there at all. But it should be in there like that. So we'll see. But so far so good. I'm really happy the way this uh, fits together. All right, so then we have little thing which this little guy goes into so let's see if he fits so that fits nicely let's get these supports out of his eyes I don't know why there's these little pieces that get stuck in there. I don't know what these little pieces are, but I have to get them out. Otherwise the eye won't be able to fit in there. Another option would be like to grind it out with the hard L. Oh, that's annoying. So let's see if these eyes would have fit in there anyway. I guess I didn't make a keyway on these. They fit pretty well. It's the only tricky thing about when you don't have a keyway is that you have to kind of guess how these things go in. And I don't want to push them in too hard because then I won't be able to get them out. push it in too hard because then it'll be too hard to get out. I still have to paint it and stuff. But I will say this um this resin is pretty tough though. So I'll stick this back in for now.
Yeah, I think I have to get that piece out. That's so annoying. The other one like came out pretty easily, but this was like, this piece is like really stuck there. really rough with it. There we go. Okay, so you can just imagine the two eyes, the pupils are in there. He has no teeth. I didn't make any teeth. And he has his plate that he holds here. So he's got his little plate and then the little pancakes or the little cakes go on the plate like so. Sorry, I can't give you a, I can't really bend it back or else his plate will fall. I do want you to see. And then he would be in here. Like so. <laughs> I love it. So excited. I'll take some other video of this, of him standing. Because it looks great. Okay, and last but not least, we have the little snail. So I'm really curious if this is actually gonna work. So there must have been some issue with the supports here. I don't know, I don't know what causes that. But this fits on actually perfectly. That fits on really nicely. So these are the teeth, they're really tiny but that just means I don't have to paint them on. I don't expect them to stay in, but I'm gonna try. But I don't expect them to stay in upside down. I guess I wouldn't make a good jeweler would I I'm going to show you before they fall out so there's the teeth and where are the eyes oh here's one eye Eyes actually, this actually worked really well. Come on, I. Here we go. This is so nice and I can paint all of those separate. I'm so excited about that. So I could have made the shell. I should have put the thing for the shell right here, going straight down. Could have made it a little more secure, but it fits perfectly, so I'm not too worried about that. And I tried to make the tongue, and I the last time I made the tongue, I didn't slant. I didn't slant it, so it kind of wasn't right. 
let's see if this goes in. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe I'll use, I don't want to use a tool to get it in there. I'm trying to figure out a way for you to be able to see what I'm doing. I should have put the tongue in before I put the teeth in. That's what I should have did. I think that was the I think that was the plan. Too big for this type of work. <laughs> Come on, get in there. There we go. Oh, it's in there. It's got his little tongue. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put these together, and then I'm gonna uh, show the show you a different view so you can see everything.